under serious consideration. Governor Martin O'Malley proclaimed today that how he's approaching a possible run for president. After two terms, the governor held his final press conference today before leaving office next week. And he's getting ready to embark on a series of paid speaking events. 11 News reporter David Collins joins us live from Annapolis with more. David. Well, Donna, the governor revealed what he plans to do next, some of his regrets, some of his accomplishments, and surprises. <laughs> a playful Martin O'Malley pulled a prank, arriving to his final news conference as governor through a door he rarely uses. Whether he'll run for president preoccupied the press. I'm very seriously considering running in 2016. But first things first, I've got to transition and get through, and I've got to get my family uh, back home. And secure. The governor is in the process of moving to the homeland neighborhood of Baltimore City. And while he considers a presidential bid, he plans to be busy. So what am I going to be doing next? Well, thank you for asking, David. First question goes to you. Uh, I'm, going to be, uh, going, I'm going to be giving talks around the country, you know, going on the lecture circuit, talking about uh, uh, performance management and, and other sorts of things. And I'm also going to be a visiting professor at the great Johns Hopkins School of Business, the Cary School of Business. O'Malley has been in elected office for the past 15 years, including Baltimore City Council, then mayor, and now a term-limited governor. As I reflect back on the work that we've been able to do together, it is really a feeling of gratitude. The governor's legacy is a controversial mix of fiscal responsibility and social change. He successfully got the state through the nation's worst recession in 85 years. He funded priorities through tax increases, including one for gasoline and sales transactions, and by rating special funds. He regrets not getting things done sooner. He correctly read the public's evolution regarding same-sex marriage. He put sweeping gun control measures on the books, repealed the state's death penalty, and strengthened measures to clean up and protect the Chesapeake Bay. O'Malley considers his leadership style a new way of governing, where goals are set with a transparent benchmark and deadlines. He floated a presidential campaign theme. The challenge is this. Uh, we have to make our economy work for everyone again. Without a job, there is no progress. The governor ended his final press conference with a selfie. We'll do a panorama. The governor takes credit for restoring civility to Annapolis, and he's now writing letters to Maryland citizens through a daily blog. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.